hello everyone welcome to my channel esp.net core and uh, today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, chat app and in this video tutorial just i'm going to start uh, the project that is the chat app in the angular so just uh, create a new folder that is the chat app in the on your desktop and just after that uh, add a command for creating a new app in the angular that is the ng new chat app dash angular okay so after uh, doing that command you will see a pop-up message for uh, installing routing yes just I want to uh, install routing also we use CSS for the styling purpose and wait for some times it will uh, taking times to install some pa packages by using npm so wait for some times and I will uh, open that code uh, the whole code on your Visual Studio code okay so wait for some times now after that you will see that your um, packages are installed successfully now after that just open uh, your chat app dash angular in your uh, in your location that is chat, chat app chatting app uh, on your uh, first of all by using the change directory command and just use code uh, space dot to open that uh, code on your in your visual studio code so here I'm using uh, angular and you can see that is the default source folder that is the name SRC and here we have a node modules and visual studio code and just open the terminal uh, to add something in the uh, angular project before going to add any uh, special things just serve that uh, that uh, that you serve command to run your angular default project okay so here you can see ng serve after that uh, generating browser application bundles and wait for some times it will run uh, on your browser but before uh, running you can see that uh, github uh, that is ma uh, generating a message the git repository like that is not active so enable that so just uh, remove that message don't show again and you will see that uh, also a JSON file will be rendered uh, like settings.json file so just close this without saving so don't save it okay if you want to uh, upload that code on your github uh, then you will use the uh, types of the git command so uh, that is the default project in uh, visual studio and in the chat app just i'm going to add some services also and just uh, that services will use your uh, visual studio code that is already done in the previous videos so that is the api code so before going to add API code and services, first of all install some styling purpose. So ng add ngx bootstrap. After adding ng uh, add ngx bootstrap, you you can see that your bootstrap 9.0.0 package is installed successfully, and you will see that your package successfully installed on your bootstrap and ngx bootstrap. Update also the ngx package.json file and angular.json file also okay so everything is right uh, so the next command you can do that is npm npm install font awesome after installing ngx bootstrap that must to install uh, font awesome for adding fonts okay so uh, font awesome is installed successfully you can, you can see uh, in the node modules uh, where your ngx bootstrap is there so just scroll down the list and you will find ngx bootstrap right uh, here if it is not then uh, you, you can uh, you can consider that it's not installed properly so it is there in ngx bootstrap now expand and collapse that uh, node again and check the package.json as well as angular.json file with the entry of uh, boots, ngx bootstrap 
so here we have a ngx bootstrap entries are there in the angular.json file and the style also uh, updated with the uh, BS state picker and you can say that bootstrap is also installed with the bootstrap.mean.css okay so everything is fine with the ngx bootstrap now the same thing you can do uh, manually by using the path okay that is the node modules and ngx bootstrap css test and etc the similar uh, thing you can uh, add some entries in the package.json file where your file is there ngx bootstrap and the phone tosum and the bootstrap so uh, here we have the files with the version in the package.json file is there now the next uh, thing you can do with your pro in your project that is to add a new folder under your app like just expand your uh, Cersei folder and app is also expand and create a new folder that name is services where your account services and the many more services are there and also you have to add a new folder that is related to navigation bar but navigation bar is re actually related to the components so just add a new components so here we have the uh, just add a new service uh, so CDs SRC and just go for that path and NGGC and that is the component name NVC oops that is the name is wrong so uh, just remove NVC because just I am writing and uh, now and a V now okay so uh, also if you want to remove the test files that is already added that is the defaultly added in your uh, with your component so uh, just you have to add nggc and then component name that is the now okay so everything is fine and you will see that your test file will be there also if you want to remove the test file from your uh, from your command then you can use dash dash skip dash tests by using this uh, line of things line of command you can remove the test file also so here you can use nggc now dash dash skip dash tests and your file will be removed the test file will be removed easily now similarly you have to add services in the services folder so cd underscore services and add a new service like nggs account also skip the test file test test skip test tests so skip and test are the flags so here you can see uh, here we have some folders named the bo uh, just uh, adding some navigation bar by using the getters group get bootstrap.com so just open get bootstrap.com and examples and you hear uh, here you can see that headers is there footers is there sidebar is there just you can see that headers are the different types of the headers that like the simple header and if you want to get the code of the headers like the some features pricing that type of header and the navigation bar so just uh, pick your uh, just right click on your um, page source and the snippet code just pick by using this line uh, by using this drag and drop okay so just copy that code from your catbootstrap.com so here you can see uh, here we have a list of things so you can see that uh, Mm, that is the blog dashboard sign in and there are lots of uh, options to pick that theme and uh, also your navigation bar and the footer bar and the uh, console things so just inspect that element and just uh, select by using selector and you can see that here we have a navigation bar so nav code is there and if you want to pick that file so just uh, just open that code in your source page and also copy that and paste into your uh, nav component dot css uh, nav component dot html file.
okay so here you can see okay so everything is there and you will be uh, there the same code so here you can see that is the code just copy and paste under the under the services account services nav component is there nav.component.html is there so just paste right here the whole code and after that I will uh, change that code um, with my uh, requirements okay so here we have app module.ts file and also app component.html file that is the man component file just remove that code and paste your selector uh, of your navigation component and you can see that your nav component selector right here by using the app dash nav and you know you know that uh, that is the component name that is the nav so selector name is app dash nav that is the default so you can use app dash nav but here we have an error because uh, lots of time i will add uh, components and you will see that or lots of time i will delete all the components so um, errors happening so that error is related to your app module.ts file so you can see that error code and what the error is app nav is not a non component or you can say the non element so just open your app module.ts file because the every component have registered in your app module.ts file if it is not registered and if it is any error in your app module.ts file then you just getting that type of error that is non not non element okay so here we have that is the code that is app, app module.ts file so uh, just remove that line of code because uh, nvc is not there uh, in your uh, in your component files so just remove that and also remove from the ng module declarations and you can see that uh, every uh, module is declared in the ng module declarations so here we have a nav component so here we have a nav component is there and uh, don't forget please see ng module declarations array types app components as well as the nav components so everything is fine now you can see that error is removed okay so just open that code and you will see your problem resolved now after that you will see that our, uh, the code is successfully run on your uh, browser just open the terminal and uh, just do the some uh, do and put some commands like ng serve after serving that command you will see that your uh, navigation bar will show on your browser okay so uh, if any doubts in uh, related to the angular please message me on your comment if it is anything happening with this your comment so please comment me okay so generating browser application bundles page setups now the next uh, uh, thing to add the registration form and the registration form is actually inherited with the reactive forms you know that in angular we have two types of forms that is the template driven forms as well uh, uh, reactive forms so here i'm using reactive forms because a reactive forms is a uh, design from the from form builders and form groups etc so here i'm using reactive forms so before going for the reactive forms must have to import that uh, module file in your app module.ts file so here you can see that that is a navigation bar 
so everything is clear now just go for your uh, the next thing to add a new component or you can say uh, that is the module file just I want to use a reactive form so just add a declaration add an import statements right here so import reactive forms module thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and Angular and I will show you the basic and the basic structure of your Angular app thank you thank you very much for watching